Welcome to the first annual Best of Mike's Year Awards. As you know, most yearly award shows showcase the entire year and cover any and all topics that lay therein. Well, this isn't just another award show, and we do things a bit differently around here. This award show will cover only subjects that I personally put out on this channel. So it's far more selective, and to me, that makes it far more exceptional. We have three categories to cover this year, so let's get started. The first category is Best of Movie. I covered 11 movies in nine weeks of this channel, so we'll go through them all. And the nominees are Nope. The first Jordan Peele movie I saw was a bit of a disappointment. Not great, not too bad either. Just average. Halloween ends. An odd way to end the franchise that began so great. Two old people past their prime fighting pathetically. Lyle Lyle Crocodile. Fun little movie with singing and dancing and adult humor? Orphan First Kill. First Kill is hopefully the first of many orphan movies to come. I always loved slasher films, and though this wasn't the best of them, at least it offered enough to start a new franchise. Smile! I love horror films, so my love may have clouded me on this one. It's kind of like The Ring, Light? DC League of Super Pets. Currently the best DC movie in the last five years. Black Adam. A return to form and bringing old and new with Black Adam and Shazam as the tent poles for DC. Black Panther Wakanda Forever. A fitting tribute. Just wish that they didn't have that darn name on. Bob's Burger the Movie. A true contender for Game of the Year. Dawn of the Dead 3D. This horror classic was a breath of fresh air for me. Violent Night. This movie single-handedly renewed my faith in Christmas. And the winner is Violent Night. Oh, it was a hard fought battle. It just won my heart in the end. Best video game. There were nine games that I put out in nine weeks in this channel. So let's start with the nominees. Tormented Souls, a game so close to Resident Evil that you'd be forgiving for thinking that it was a spin-off of the regular franchise. Klonoa Fantasy Reverie series. I loved Klonoa 2 back in the PlayStation 2 days. And I'll have to admit, I love Klonoa 1 now because of this remake. Madison, so far the scariest game I've ever played. A great game that is better than it has any right to be. Yars Recharged. I enjoyed my time with this spiritual successor just as much as I enjoyed the original back in the day. What else is there to say? Asteragos, Curse of the Stars. My time with this one was far too short and I will definitely be returning to fully enjoy this new gem. Gungrave Gore. A really fun game that, like Devil May Cry and Bayonetta, has you hacking and slashing and shooting all the way up. Marsupalami. Side-scrolling platform fun. The rolling mechanic was amazing. I wish the movement wasn't as stiff and inintuitive, but at least it was very fun while it lasted. Soul Hackers 2. A game that quite possibly was made just with me in mind. Even what others say are flaws are just added joys. It's truly a deliciously wonderful JRPG. Lost in Random. Oozing with so much personality and style, you get lost in this fantastical world. I hope that they make more games just like this. And the winner is... Soul Hackers 2! Ha! <laughs> this was no contest in this department. I had so much joy and fun, which revitalized my faith in games in general. 
The final category, books. There were six books in nine weeks that I put out on this channel. So let's review the nominees. Fart Club. Even though I knew the twist in this novel, I was unprepared for the relentless and repetitive onslaught of writing wonder that this book had to offer. Slaughterhouse Five. Trippy and time bending as it is potent and poignant. A masterpiece of fiction, as well as science fiction, and as fantastical as it is autobiographical. Of Mice and Men. Steinbeck wrote this as an experiment? That mystifies me. It is eminently readable and intimately personal. A true masterpiece of our language. The Shining. As great a work as it was a disappointment. The Great Gatsby. The greatness of Gatsby is merely the utter failure of all others in the book to live up to the title of being human. A Tale of Two Cities. This is a masterpiece above all else. It is a work that will live on forever, and I enjoyed every second of listening to A Tale of Two Cities. And the winner is... Of Mice and Men. Though A Tale of Two Cities is arguably the better book, Of Mice and Men had a greater impact on me as a whole. No other book is kept at my bedside, and no other book, save The Hobbit, is read and reread as frequently. Congratulations to all the winners of this year's End of the Year, My Year Awards show. Remember, these are my choices based on my channel. If yours wasn't picked or wasn't even eligible, that's because it wasn't a part of my channel. Perhaps next year we'll have a whole full year and we'll have a more exciting award show. But I'm very pleased with this first annual one. So give yourselves a round of applause for making it to the end. Thank you and good night. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. For more videos, please click the links above.